equally beautiful music on the Lawrence Welk Show here on public television. The theme of tonight's program is flower song, and it's the perfect show for me. My husband, Brandy, and I have spent a lifetime planting flowers and trees in all the yards of our home. I feel that flowers do for a humble home what a smile does for a homely face. So we always manage to sow a few seeds. Mr. Welk did the same thing, only his seeds were young people. He gave all of us the opportunity to grow with the fertile ground of his wonderful show and his own good care. Before Mr. Welk invited me to be part of his garden, I was a backup singer for all the great singing stars. And I didn't think I'd ever have the opportunity to become a soloist on a nationwide television program. And then, there I was, the champagne lady. And here I am, still blooming under his watchful eye over 35 years later. Before I get too sentimental, let's get on with the show, as Mr. Welk used to say. It was the bicentennial year 1976, and here is that exciting opening fanfare that always left me breathless. <laughs> From Hollywood, it's the Lawrence Welk Show and a program of flower song. my friends and welcome. We think you'll find this show about flowers tuneful, colorful, and entertaining. The song you just heard, Four Leaf Clover, won a gold record for Art Mooney's several years ago. This next song was a big hit last year for Marie Osmond and the famous Osmond family. I'm sure you'll enjoy hearing it by our popular young baritone, Tom Netherton. I realize the way your eyes deceive me With tender looks that I mistook for love So throw away the flowers that I gave you The only ones that you remind me to be but they're only imitation like your imitation love for me I 
I thought that you would be the perfect lover You seem so full of sweetness at the start But like a big red rose that's made of paper There isn't any sweetness in your heart Paper roses, paper roses Oh, how real those roses seem to be But they're only imitations Like your imitation love for me Like your imitation love for me Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm so intrigued with the theme of our show this evening, all these songs about flowers, and we have one coming up that I know you're going to enjoy. It's a beautiful song, and it features our sensational clarinet man, Henry Cuesta. Mr. Welp, take it away. One, and two, and... arrangement was written by Don Bonet, a former member of our band, also a very, very fine clarinet man in his own right. We're delighted to welcome Sandy back to our show, following the birth of her baby boy, Benjamin Brendan. <laughs> Sandy rejoins her partners, Gail and Mary Lou. Pardon. I never promised you a rose garden along with the sunshine. There's gotta be a little rain sometime. 
When you take, you gotta give, so live and let live or let go. Oh, 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 I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Now I could promise you things like big diamond rings, but you don't find roses growing on stalks of clover. So you better think it over. And if sweet talking you could make it come true, I would give you the world right now on a silver platter. But what would it matter? So smile for a while and let's be jolly. Love shouldn't be so melancholy. Come along and share the good times while we can. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden along with the sunshine. There's got to be a little rain sometime. Well, I could sing you a tune, promise you the moon, but if that's what it takes to hold you, I'd just as soon let you go. But there's one thing I want you to know. You better look before you leave, still waters run deep, and there won't always be someone there to pull you out. And you know what I'm talking about. So smile for a while and let's be jolly. Love shouldn't be so melancholy. Come along and share the good times while we can. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Those three young women are as pretty as the roses themselves, and they're just as beautiful today as they were then. Sandy Griffith has come to see us in Utah a few times, and almost always brings one of her delightful children. Gail Farrell is the creative force behind the brand new CD featuring all the Lawrence Welk performers. And Mary Lou Metzger continues to work at Universal City in Los Angeles, at the Champagne Theater in Branson, and has time to produce the Christmas show in Escondido. Another one of my favorite people is Tanya Fallon, coming up next on the show. I'll never forget the fabulous baby shower that she, Kathy Lennon, and Rolna English gave for our first grandchild, Kristen. As you may remember, Kristen was very ill as a youngster, but with God's blessings, she survived her cancer. She's 25 years old now and will graduate from college next year with a degree in child development. We're so very proud of her and her parents. Here's a fine combination, a great song by Rochester Hard, the voice and personality of our own Tanya, Bob Smale in our fine rhythm section, and the song Mountain Greenery. In a mountain greenery where God paints the scenery, just two crazy people together when you love your loverlet blue skies be your coverlet when it rains we'll laugh at the weather and if you're good i'll search for wood so you can cook while I stand looking Beans could get no keener reception In this beanery Bless our mountain greenery home In a mountain greenery Where God paints the scenery Reception from this beatery. Bless our mind. 
daughter-in-law. This next song is especially appropriate for America's number one young dance couple, Sissy and Bobby. For them, everything's coming up roses. <laughs> Bobby and Sissy with another exciting routine. When the lovely Szymanski sisters joined our musical family, we learned that their favorite singing group was the Andrew Sisters. Here's their version of one of the Andrew Sisters' big hits, Apple Blossom Time. <laughs> Change your name to mine One day in May I'll come and say Happy the bride That the sun shines on today What a wonderful wedding there will be What a wonderful day You and me, dear, church bells will chime. You will be mine. When? In apple, in apple blossom time. The Szymanskis were the most loving family. Mom and Dad were at every single show, and I love to watch their faces as they watch their adorable daughter. A few years ago, while I was in the South singing for a Billy Graham crusade, the girls came up to say hello. They were all grown up, married, and still as beautiful as ever. Our sons, Ron and Mark, are all grown up too, of course. Ron and his family come to ski with us each winter, and they are all fabulous skiers. I can't tell you what a thrill it is to try to keep up with your grandchildren on those steep slopes. Mark had the experience of his life when he took the official bobsled run 
at the new 2002 Olympic Winter Sports Area here in Park City, Utah. He and another passenger went down the 90-mile-an-hour run with two official bobsled drivers. He said he'd do it again in a heartbeat. As for me, I think I'd rather do my traveling on snow by skis. And when I'm up in the Alps, if I'm not skiing, I'll be gathering flowers that Guy and Rolna are about to celebrate musically. Guy and Rolna have a pretty song from that great show, The Sound of Music. It's all about a lovely flower that grows high in the Alps. <laughs> So very pretty, Guy and Rona. We're very proud of our very fine saxophone section. I think they deserve a special introduction. Henry, would you please do me the honors? Surely, Mr. Walk, thank you. Immediately to my left, we have Russ Klein from Worcester, Massachusetts. This young man who just married our secretary, Lois Lamont. Let's hear it out there. <laughs> Big Dale from Argona, Iowa. Palos Verdes, from Palos Verdes, here we have Bob Davis. And on lead saxophone from Alabama, from Muskogee, Alabama, Dave Edwards. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's not Muskogee, that's not even close, it's Tuskegee. I goofed again, I'm sorry, Dave. Well, being from Texas, I don't know those towns in Alabama, but I do know the next song, though. Here we have Rose of Washington Square. A one and two and... Thank you. 
12th saxophone section, a great sound and a wonderful rhythm. Anna Connie has a song that fits our flower show. The title is Amapola. And if I'm not mistaken, this means poppy. No es verdad, Anna Connie? Correct, Myron. <laughs> Amapola, lindísima amapola, será siempre mi alma tuya sola. Yo te quiero, amada vida mía, porque así lo quiso Dios y el mundo. Amapola, no seas tan ingrata y amame. Amapola, amapola, ¿cómo puedes tú vivir tan sola? Amapola, lindísima amapola. a song that I have always loved and one that many of you requested through the years. I'll be loving you Our flower show continues with Dick Dale, a very popular member of our musical family for 25 years.
Primrose Lane. Life's a holiday on Primrose Lane. Just a holiday on Primrose Lane. With you. Can't explain when we're walking down that Primrose Lane. Even roses blooming in the rain. With you. Sweet perfume, those little old roses blue. And I want to walk with you my whole life through. Ooh, down that Primrose Lane, life's a holiday on Primrose Lane. Just a holiday on Primrose Lane with you. Sweet perfume, those little old roses blue. And I want to walk with you my whole life through. Ooh, down at Primrose Lane. Life's a holiday on Primrose Lane, just a holiday on Primrose Lane with you, with you, with you. Dick. Next, the gentleman who is really tops in taps. Arthur Duncan, dancing to a timely tune, Rose Room. Arthur will be joined by Bob Smale on piano, Richard Maloof on bass, and Neil Avang on guitar. Thank you. Thank you. With an Irish tenor like Joe Feeney and the theme of our show, Flower Songs, <laughs> the choice is pretty obvious. And it looks as though the boss is going to get into the act. Thank you very, very much, Arthur. Yes, I think I will get into the act because my people don't feature me very much anymore. But now that I have the accordion on to play for Joe Feeney and have the mic, I think I'll just play an introduction and feature myself. <laughs> All righty. That's the introduction. <laughs> My wild Irish rose 
The sweetest flower that grows You may search everywhere But none can compare With my wild Irish rose My wild Irish rose The Someday for my sake, she may let me take the bloom from my wild Irish Getting that much of a hand on that high note, sing just one more chorus for those ladies here. Oh, ready? My wild Irish rose, sing along if you like. The sweetest flower that grows. Hello there. You may search everywhere, but none can compare with my wild. young trumpet man with Jerry Pink and Apple Blossom White. Um. wonderful in that number. He and his family came to stay with us for a few days during their recent concert tour of the Western States. Randy and I have attended some of their sacred concerts, and it is so heartwarming 
to see the whole family perform. The children seem to love it as much as their parents. The Welk star you're about to see on this program is my close friend, Jimmy Roberts. It was such a pleasure to work with this fine Kentucky gentleman through the years. He's singing just as beautifully as he ever did. In fact, I think his voice is stronger now than when we did the shows. I think it's the loving Carrie's wife Vi gives him, too. She had him out on the tennis courts almost every day and watches his diet carefully. They are so lucky to have one another. And I hope their lives continue to be filled with moonlight and roses. Here's Jimmy Roberts in our flower show spotlight with a song you folks all know. And what could be more appropriate for a show about flowers than this beautiful melody by Tchaikovsky? George Cates conducts the orchestra in the famous Waltz of the Flowers.
George Cates and the Champagne Music Makers, of course, the Smooth Dancers, Lawrence and Sissy. For a change of pace, we go from the classics to country music. And here's a young lady who's just about tops in this field, our own country gal, Ava Barber. <laughs> closes tears will fall like petals when we part I begged you to be different but you'll always be untrue I'm tired of forgiving now there's nothing left to do so I'm sending you a big bouquet of roses one for every time you broke my heart I begged you to be different But you'll always be untrue I'm tired of forgiving Now there's nothing left to do So I'm sending you a big bouquet of roses one for every time you broke my heart One for every time you broke my heart Roses are one of my favorite flowers and every time I see one, I remember the time our three cameramen, Jimmy Angel, Herm Falk, and Jim Balden, sent me two dozen red roses when I was out with the flu. There was always so much love and caring that flowed among the members of the cast and crew. We all wanted to help one another, on the show and in our own lives. Mr. Welk was so generous with his time, even around the holidays, he would come to our mobile home park each year to entertain our people. He'd play the organ, do several numbers on his accordion, and dance with the ladies, which would thrill them to death. He would usually bring some of the other Welk stars with him, and it was most often Ken Gilo. He would wander through the audience, serenading the women, much to their delight. At the end of the next number, you'll see a good example of the way our female fans react to the handsome Mr. Gilo. Back to the show, and let's see what Ken Gilo has for us. When you wore a tulip, a big yellow tulip, and I wore a big red rose. When you caressed me, was then hey, me what a blessing no one knows you made life cheery when you call me dearie was down where the blue grass grows your lips were sweeter than tulip when you wore that tulip and i wore a big red rose
when we consider the many beauties of nature, it strengthens our faith in the high power responsible for these wonders. Our lovely N Norma Simmer has a song that expresses this faith. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe for everyone who goes astray, I did a show like the one you've just seen, with beautiful garden settings and stars in the sky. It was such a joy to be on stage. Chuck Kuhn could make the empty studio come alive with blossoms, fountains, bridges, and streams filled with a rainbow of colors. It truly made my heart sing. These days, my garden set is the real thing. I have a lovely fountain, a birdhouse, and a hummingbird feeder right outside my office window. There is a constant movement of wings and a steady symphony of singing. I have to contend with the deer to keep some flowers blooming in our yard, but the wildlife constantly entertains me. I hope you were entertained by this wonderful Lawrence Welk show and hope you'll join us next week for more champagne music. Goodbye, and God bless you all. <laughs>